best bit about the job is that you never, ever get bored. And when you sometimes get fed up with adults, to go in a classroom and be with children makes you feel so much better because they make you laugh and they make you smile. Welcome to Knowles Junior School. My name's Ruth Sully and I'm interim head teacher at Knowles Junior School. All the teachers are nice and we have fun lessons. Um, I like this teacher, it's very cool, and then I like this head teacher. They're quite good at teaching us stuff. Um, I'm Miss Cook, I teach year four. Um, the best thing about being a teacher is that um, the children make you laugh all the time. <laughs> yeah, hello, my name is Gio Hianotta, and I'm a housekeeper here at Knowles. I do love working with the children. Um, some children are just so fantastic, so welcoming, and they're just brilliant. And I love working with the children. Ooh, my playground was really um, exquisite. <laughs> it's big, it's got tires and a trail. Well, there was a shed that had lots of toys in. I normally played on the trolleys. My name is Graham Wood. I'm a teacher at Knowles Junior School. Um, how's the school change? Um, well, when I came here, it was really, really tatty and dirty and the roof leaked. We found mushrooms behind all the old cupboards that have been there and there. The chairs suddenly went through the floor. So, I, as you can imagine, it's a slightly different school now. My favourite thing about school was definitely going to be able to go to Privilege. A time when you get to do some fun things and um, you go to different classrooms. I always went to ICT. After school, loads of clubs then. Football, basketball, sometimes cricket and rounders. Loads of sporting things. And at lunchtime, there's sometimes sewing club and computer club. I started at the age of five back in 1970, um, uh, in year one. They were strict, very, very strict. And I think attitudes of teachers in those days was very, very different to what it is now. Just in those days, teachers didn't seem to smile as much as they do today. As a, as a building, it stayed very, very similar to what it is today. In fact, it probably wouldn't look out of place in some Colin Firth and Emma Thompson time period drama, which I think is, is fantastic. I like that this school we do all the things like Celebration Week, you know, we get to have fun and do all those sorts of things. I really like that because you don't get that every day. I like doing the when we have fun weeks and we've got all the crafts. And Celebration Week was last week. We had bouncy castles in and we all played games on them. And um, We had the Reptile Roadshow. We had a picnic and we made all the food, which was really, really nice. We had the African drummers in. That was brilliant. One bass, one bass, one bass, two bass. And we did this dance as well, didn't we? Two types of dance. Um, and we had Circus Day as well and we had the fair outside. So that was really nice. Last year we linked up with uh, Monkston School for a year in Milton Keynes. This year we've been a bit more ambitious and we've linked up with uh, Tongo LA Primary School in Ghana. It's much bigger, there's about 800 children there. It's got no windows, flat roofs, and um, it's incredibly hot in the rooms. And you can often, I've seen 80 children in one class and not enough furniture, so half of them are sitting on the floor. What was my favourite memory? Oh, well, certainly the singing and the dancing at the end, but also the um, going everywhere on the back of a motorbike, up and down all the sort of the mud roads and things like that. And, uh, and I laughed at the time because I said, oh, it, it's so bumpy, this road, it knocks your fillings out. And it really had knocked a filling out, and I had to have it changed last week. The school plays that I remember, um, more than one, uh, mostly it's the Christmas performances. I'm chairman of the governors, Mick Payne. Two years ago, 
when virtually everybody in the school took part, I remember, on the stage in the hall, and everybody had a thoroughly good time and looked as though they were enjoying themselves. It was fantastic. The governors decided that it was time that the schools amalgamated, that the infant and the junior school came together to become a primary school. So I was asked to be head teacher till that happened. And originally it was only going to be for a year, but the amalgamation process of the schools coming together has actually took three years. I think it will just be nice to have all the staff and the children together and feel like more of a community across the two schools because at the moment it's two different schools. So it's quite hard and it will be nicer to have both things together and do the input and it will be really lovely to all be joined up. Generally, I think staff and children are quite excited about what September's going to look like, or I hope they are. <laughs>